and many of you may have come even before and uh, you may have received uh, wishes to enjoy your stay in Kigali before me, but I think I take this opportunity also to, to wish you a warm welcome to, to Kigali, to Rwanda, the country of thousand heroes. I hope uh, you're enjoying your stay so far. It's my pleasure to join you today and take part in the Kigali Global Dialogue 2023. My compliments to the organizers, the Observer Research Foundation and the Rwanda Governance Board uh, for making sure that gender is part of the main topics of discussion. I have no doubt that today's discussion will provide critical insight and pave the way for new approaches in our daily work, putting women economic empowerment at the center. Today, we stand at a critical juncture in history where gender equality and women empowerment have right, rightfully become central to our global agenda. Women economic equity is not only a moral imperative, but also economic one. It is a catalyst for sustainable development, social cohesion, and inclusive growth. We must acknowledge that women's economic empowerment is not just about empowering individual women. It's about transforming societies and creating a prosperous world for all of us. To achieve this vision, two distinct yet interrelated levers remain to be focused on health and digital technologies. First and foremost, we have to recognize that women's preferences and needs must be adequately accounted for and responded to within healthcare systems. It is a universal human right entitled to women and girls like anyone else. Access to quality healthcare, including reproductive health services, is a fundamental right that enables women to strive and contribute to economic development. We must ensure that healthcare systems are gender responsive, providing comprehensive care and addressing unique challenges faced by women. We must even go beyond and strive for gender transformative health care that recognizes and addresses the unique needs and empowerment and experiences of women, ensuring their full participation and empowerment in decision making, leading to an improved health outcomes and a more equitable society. Secondly, equitable society Equitable access to and use of digital technologies is essential for women's economic empowerment. In an increasingly interconnected world, digital skills and technologies are vital tools for economic participation and entrepreneurship. However, women continue to face barriers such as limited access to technology, digital literacy, and online safety concern, to name a few. We must invest in bridging these gaps, providing women with necessary skills and opportunities to harness the power of digital platforms and innovations. To strengthen this foundation and support women, support women's ambitions, we must work collaboratively and take concrete actions. Here are some of my, of my questions, and I hope uh, the panel that we have uh, here will help us to provide some clarity throughout the exchanges. The questions are four. Number one, how can we build a more gender sensitive, gender responsive environment, including uh, not limited to health care policies and services, ensuring access to comprehensive reproductive health services, maternal health care, and mental health support. Second question, what is the right way to invest in education 
and training programs that equip women with digital skills, promoting the digital literacy and entrepreneurship. Question number three is about the partnership. How can government agencies and development partners collaborate with private sector to foster partnerships, to expand access to internet, and bridge the gender digital divide? The last question is to ask ourselves in all our work, how are we engaging men and boys as key allies in the journey toward women economic equity and the promotion of gender equality at all levels in our societies? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe by taking ourselves, by asking ourselves the right questions and working together to find sustainable solutions, we will surely keep fast, fast forward the 267 years to achieve women economic equity, as reported by World Economic Forum in 2021, to 151 years reported in 2022, and why not to less in 2023 and in the upcoming years. Thank you again for your time, and I hope you will, you will all enjoy the panel discussion.